Well, hello there, guys. Today we're back in the kitchen. It has been so long since I've been in the kitchen, and today we're going to go back to the roots of the Atlanta Falcons. Kind of, not really. Kind of also me, football. I'll explain. So for those of you who don't follow football, let me catch you up. I was where you are one year ago. This is the first year I've actually really followed, like actually followed football. Not just my team, the Packers. All of the teams. And the last time the Atlanta Falcons went to the Super Bowl was 1998. That's the year I was born. They lost. Boo-hoo. But this year, I figured since it was the first year that I followed football, it would be really symbolic if they went to the Super Bowl and won. So we're going back to the roots. Potatoes are roots, I think. So in honor of the Super Bowl coming up and in honor of the Atlanta Falcons, I'm going to be hanging this logo up today. Now I know what you're thinking, Steve, what the heck? My printer was running out of ink when I printed this, but it looks kind of cool that way, you know? Now... That being said, would I have liked for the Packers to go to the Super Bowl? Yes, 100%, but I just really don't want the Patriots to win again. Sidebar, I'm sorry for missing last week's video. Um, I just had to get this one out before the Super Bowl. I know it's a weird time, everything's weird, but it's for the Super Bowl after all, because potato salad is a Super Bowl snack, not really, but whatever. And really, I had to prepare. I had to get a potato, I had to print that out. I had to get all these things to make this video, so I, I didn't have enough time before, but now I am here, and we are doing this. Let's start by washing our potato. Usually we use some sort of scrub brush thing to wash the potato, but I can't find that, so I'm just using my hands. I hope that's okay. And if it isn't, well, screw you, dude. It's my YouTube channel. Okay, so great. Now that your potato is all washed nice and clean, you just gotta chop it up and you gotta mash it up real nice. Sometimes I like to use my hands to do things because I'm a very hands-on learner, much like football is catching... I don't know, it's the Super Bowl. I'm trying to make as many references as I possibly can. I'm talking really fast. I gotta slow down. Like the Atlanta Falcons did between the years of 1998 and this year. Football! Okay, get your nice cutting board, put your potato down, and chop away! <laughs> Son of a whore! Oh, that hurt way more than anyone could have ever anticipated that hurting. Oh, sometimes you gotta use kitchen utensils to do things. But sometimes you have to do things your own way. Be inventive, be creative. Use a tennis racket to chop up your potato. Be sure to rinse off your tennis racket before you use it. It's very important to use clean utensils and tools when you're kitchen cooking. Okay, here we go, try number two. Minimal difference made. Well, you know, it doesn't appear to be working. And that's okay. Now it's time to use a knife. It made a tiny little difference right there. Right there. You can see it. So, you know, if nothing else, that was just a good way to let out my frustrations. <laughs> In the wise words of Hannah Hart, don't be a fool, switch your tool. Use a knife. Now you want to be careful because this knife is extremely large and able to cut, like, probably through bear skin or probably bare bones. Wait, wait! Warm up your potato! That's so important! Raw potato is so gross! Do you hear that sound? That's the sound of my microwave doing its job. Heating up the potato. I put mine in there for 11 minutes. I have no idea if that's too long or short, but we put corn in for like nine minutes, so this is a potato. Back to the roots. I'm just gonna say that a few times so that it stays relevant, even though it really doesn't make any sense, come to think of it. And while you're waiting for your potato to be done potatoing in the microwave, you can cut up your lettuce, because it is potato salad, after all, and lettuce is a very important part to a salad. It makes up, like, 90% of the salad. Okay, so while your potatoes are making a suspiciously sizzling sound in the microwave, cut up your lettuce. You won't need a lot of lettuce because this isn't gonna be a big salad, it's for one person. But you can use portion control to make your salads your own unique individual different sizes. Lettuce chopping. There's already some on the ground. It's really going great. Okay, so the lettuce chopping took like way, way shorter than I thought. There's still six and a half minutes left on the microwave, so what are we gonna do? There's never been a better time for a dance party. Just as a fair warning, this is the speakers we have now. Because the speakers that I had broke for some reason? Who knows? So now it's just literally my Mac. It's up to you!
<laughs> That's my idea of a rager. I swear someday I'll get better speakers so that we can party like we used to in the old days. This is the 10th WISGM Cooks. Anyway, good news, your potatoes are done. So now you can continue to chop them up and then put them in your potato salad. Oh, shoot. I think I just baked the potato. And like, for a potato salad, do you even need to cook the potato? I just don't know if it was the best move to microwave it for that long. I don't know. Take a look at this. It looks kind of dry. Hot! Oh, my fingertips! Fuck! We'll make do, we'll make do. <laughs> we always make do because we have to chop up your potato. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this is like... This is... This has become like a severely undercooked potato. I should have not microwaved it. Shoot! Oh, no! Oh, no! Take a look at this! Mess. But it's like seven times as hard to cut now, you know? And, you know, oh man, this is going great. We'll go with it, we'll work with it, just keep cutting. Your potato. Work with your mistakes, because you're gonna have to live with them forever. Kind of like the Atlanta Falcons had to live with their one Super Bowl appearance they lost, so... Atlanta Falcons Super Bowl, back to the roots. I wrote it on my hand. I thought of it today at school, and I wrote it on my hand. Okay, so now that you've incredibly lazily and very much in a half-assed kind of way cut up your potatoes, put them into a bowl carefully, and then add your chopped up lettuce to the bowl of potatoes, and you... Uh-oh, we lost some. That's okay. And you have yourself... Oh, uh, mix it around first, because otherwise that would be weird, right? Okay, now that you have your beautiful potato salad, take a bite. Get some of that potato in there, get some of that lettuce in there, and here we go. I mean, it's basically eating some baked potatoes with lettuce. But, the dried potato like that got especially dry and crunchy. I don't like baked potato to begin with. I don't look <clears throat> It's not only hard to chew, but it's just hard to do. Take a third bite because third bite's the charm. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. 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 No. No. Oh. Some advice for people who are thinking about making a potato salad for the Super Bowl. Um. Don't. Have some pretzels, have some chips, maybe make guacamole. It's not that much work and it's so much better and simple and probably more of a Super Bowl food. Well guys, no matter who you're cheering for this Super Bowl, as long as it's the Falcons, I'm on your side. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Hugs to all. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.